Hi, how are you? My name is Dan from Anchor Telecom. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about the difference between a traditional uh, business phone system and a voice over IP business phone system. Um, just so you know, uh, Anchor has been serving Rhode Island for the last 16 years. Uh, we do uh, probably probably about two or three hundred accounts uh, in Rhode Island, southern Rhode Island. Right now we're servicing the town of Westerly. We do a lot of work for our South County Hospital. Um, we have a number of doctor's offices, law offices, real estate offices that we, that we maintain, and we have been maintaining for, uh, I like to say, over 10 years. Um, I personally have 30 years' experience in the telecom business. I started in 1982 as a lineman, and then I was the instructor for the State of Rhode Island's Job Training Partnership Act um, for the basic, basic telephony course for a few years. Anyways, enough about me and about my company. Uh, let's talk about the difference between a traditional phone system and the newer voice over IP phone systems. Um, with the traditional phone systems, um, basically what you have is you have your phone lines coming into your building. You have a typically a boiler room or a phone closet where you'd have a piece of equipment which is called a KSU key service unit, or another word is uh, called a PBX, Private Branch Exchange. Basically, it's a piece of hardware. I actually have a, um, this is a Panasonic TDA50 telephone system. If you notice on the back and the side, there's a bunch of uh, modular connectors. So essentially, what we'd have in with the traditional phone system, we'd have this mounted on a wall. We'd have our phone lines tied into it. Um, so let's say line one through five. Then out of the system, through the wiring the building, we'd have all of your extensions. So, for instance, if you're an insurance company and you have 15 extensions, essentially each phone jack has to wire into this box. So this is essentially the brains of the system. Um, typically, if you have a voicemail attached to it, we'd have another box that would set on the side, which would be a voice processing unit or a voicemail system. Uh, with the voicemail, that would give you... Um, uh, auto attendant, thank you for calling XYZ Insurance Company, you know, the, the menus that you hear all the time. Also, it would give individual voicemails. So, up until a few years ago, this is pretty much the technology that was out there. Um, Anchor services, probably about 80% of our existing customer base is a traditional phone system. The technology is changing, though. The... Um, as the industry is moving forward and the internet and um, cell phone technology is advancing, um, the, the way we do business and the way we install phone systems is changing as well. Um, not to say that the traditional phone system is becoming antiquated because it's not, but it really has to do with the application and what... Um, Basically, the voice over IP system isn't a perfect fit for every company. So let's talk about the voice over IP system for a couple minutes. I'm going to put this aside. So essentially what you have is you have the phone system that resides in the cloud. Um, you know, if you don't understand what the cloud is, essentially it's a data center. So if you were to go to your bank online, let's say, and you looked up your balances and you transferred funds from account A to account B, you're doing that via a cloud service. Um, essentially what that means is that, let's say you use Citizens Bank, their, um, their server is actually in a data center, which is a brick and mortar building somewhere in the United States that is essentially like Fort Knox, where um, you would, um, you know, basically it's protected against lightning, protected against power outages, um, it's a very secure system. Um, so when you log into your bank via the internet, you're actually logging into their server and you're able to pull the information. And the same way that that works is now your phone system, which is cur currently in your phone closet, becomes a cloud-based phone system. Um, the phones themselves, even though uh, I actually have one here, this is, this is what I like to use, it's called the Yealink. What this is, is um, even though it looks like a phone, acts like a phone, you talk on it like a phone, its only job in the world is when it connects 
to the internet. Now, it doesn't matter where you are. You could be in your office. You could be at your home. If you're lucky enough, you can be in your uh, Snowbird uh, house in Florida. You, essentially, you take this and you plug it into the internet, and it automatically connects to the server, which is in the cloud. So what that means is a couple things. Number one, you don't have to purchase the PBX that goes in the in the um, in the phone closet. Um, essentially, this is a few thousand dollars. So the initial startup cost is a lot more inexpensive because all you're really buying is the the actual IP phones. Um, the four walls to your building essentially go away because these phones work anywhere. You could be at home, plug this into your internet um, internet connection at your house. And you just move your extension to your home. Um, it's very, very flexible. In addition to that, we can do some new technologies where we can twin a cell phone. So that way when uh, Sue, your receptionist, answers the call and says, Oh, hang on, I'd like to transfer you to Dan. Transfer the Dan button. She hangs up. Now it's ringing your, your IP phone at your home, your IP phone at your office, your cell phone. Also, we get um, voicemails to emails, so that way if somebody leaves you a voicemail message, um, what would happen is not only will it light the button on your phone to indicate you have a message, but it will also um, send you an email with the message. It's a WAV file in the message. Um, it's a different way of doing business, and as an old phone guy for 30 years, it took me a little while to wrap my head around it because I was so used to this. Um, but I'm finding, um, after installing 32 systems in the last year, that it's a very clean, basically simple system to use. My customers love it because they have total flexibility. They can literally work from anywhere. Um, uh, for instance, uh, my bookkeeper. She doesn't have an office here in my office. But what she does, she works from her home. But I gave her a, um, an IP phone. She plugs it in. Now she's an extension off the system. So if somebody were to call and, you know, you get the, the greeting, thank you for calling Anchor Telecom, for Dan, press 1, rings me. For the bookkeeper, press 2, it'll ring, whoop, whoop, hang on, my phone's ringing. I'm going to ignore that for the sake of the video, I apologize. So the, um, that kind of messed me up a bit. But anyway, so the call would ring over to uh, my bookkeeper, and, um, so anyways, it's a very interesting, um, exciting uh, direction that the phone business is going into, the, the telephony in itself is going, going into. But anyways, I hope that um, kind of clarified things, and I hope I didn't really uh, throw you too much information. But in, in a nutshell, um, I personally like the voice over IP systems. Um, yeah, my customer's phone bill literally goes away because we're not paying for the phone service from Cox and Verizon anymore. Um, and we, uh, you know, basically Anchor charges you a small monthly fee to, to, um, to install and to maintain your network. But anyways, uh, it was nice chatting with you and um, I hope that you can call me. My cell phone number, I mean my business number is 792-8001. I look forward to speaking to you. Bye now.